All right. Time to get to the weapon steal, everybody. So, Sarah, how fast do you think this thing is? A driver will be needed on this mission. A member can ride as passenger. Avoid leaving their motorcycle behind at the pickup location. It means if the driver leaves his motorcycle there, don't le take it. That's what I'm thinking. No, because two of them said have the driver ride passenger on a motorcycle so they don't leave their motorcycle there. So who's driving? I'm driving. Then get off your fucking motorcycle. But I don't give a fuck about leaving my motorcycle there because I could just request it at any time. Are those all good? Yeah, uh, Ronna, can I have one? No. Force Mutual Insurance, how can we help you? Yeah, give me my fucking I'll motorcycle back. That's how you can help me. How about you call it in? It's not going to cost you a cent. I was talking to Morse Neutral. I haven't ate any of them. You do realize we can request it at any time, right? If you're in an MC. I can't because you destroyed it. I actually then tried it. Call it in. It's not going to cost any money. I did! God, didn't you and hear me? Back, I said I was MC. talking to No, I am from Texas. From Ireland. Well, I don't see any steers over there, so... Fuck you. I fucking hate your narrow-minded shit face right there. Hey, you see, I'm bisexual, so shut up. Uh, bisexuals are usually not the most narrow-minded people I've met. They're usually the more open ones. Yeah. I'm not narrow-minded, you're dumb. No, you're fucking you're narrow-minded. You're minded <laughs> I'm not. I just made a fucking pun, or a joke, and no, you didn't no, no, like no. it. No, 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 you literally so you told me narrow-minded. No, you, you literally told me that we all Texans the, the other day, yep. that all Texans are basically I'm just going to the yellow marker. I never said that. You're dumb. You told me that. I never I said that. Oklahoma, You're dumb. So that was fucking the other. Or that was one of the people who party the other day. You fucking idiot. Ugh. Oh, Getting people this stuff again. Oh, I want to die. No, both you oh, and Corey wanna... were spouting out stereotype after stereotype, claiming these things were facts, and you won't even. If you Listen, use stereotypes as a joke, doesn't necessarily mean you, you guys weren't it. joking. So shut up. Hey, you, drive, you guys were actually go, talk, go telling me what you think of we tech oh of me tech. So done. I'm actually extremely sick and tired of all these Texas jokes. Good move. Either that or ignore it. There's literally no point in moving because there's no way there to escape Texas jokes. Just because I'm from Texas, I will it. keep hearing the fucking jokes. Then ignore it. Well, as long as I can tell tell people to my to their face like you, I am going to fucking share my share my opinion about it. Then stop bitching that you're getting sick and tired of it if you refuse to ignore it. Dude. It just fucking needs to stop. It's a fuck. It's, it's not the jokes are tired as like shit. You refuse to ignore it. It's a tired as shit trope. If, if the main purpose is to piss people off, and if it continues to do it, of course they're gonna keep doing it. Just head to the know. beach. Well, I don't worry. 
Yeah. Yep. Why the hell did he leave? What we're doing is loading weapons crates into a back of a van, and one of us has to go in the van. Oh wait, that's me. Shit. I can, I can drive the truck if you want me to. Uh, it don't matter to me. Plus, I'm holding the last crate. This is actually a pretty impressive SUV, I won't lie. What's the name of it? I didn't look up the name. Uh... The Vap... Darn it. The Vapid... Con... Blah, 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 blah. It's pretty much... It's just pretty much a Ford Super Duty. Like, sure, the interior is super generic, but the exterior is uh, a bit tactically sexy. It's a no, Ford Super Duty. I was just getting sick and tired of these guys constantly making the jokes. Ow. I'm actually born and raised in Texas. Well, I'm part Irish, part English, and I have been surrounded by accents my whole life. Yeah, it's literally the most unimpressive answer in the universe. I'm pretty sure the most impressive answer I can ever hear of for the reason for having an accent is like, Oh, I traveled the world! I started by, go by hanging out for six months at Britain, then spending a whole year in Ireland. That would be a slightly more impressive story. That would be me. They always put me in the most questionable vans. Fuck no. Oh yeah. They'd probably be doing the same thing. After hearing a comment like that. So this is not a half bad truck though. I wouldn't mind actually having this for myself. Nice. You know, the only stereotype I know for a fact that's actually holds some truth is a stereotype about te how Texas driver, on why Texas drivers ha have humongous trucks. And another reason why they have so many accidents. 
because they don't know how to clean off their fucking road. I just demolish my fucking front end because somebody doesn't know how to take off the fucking tire cap off the fucking road. Period. I want to get Believe me, that's teenagers. Why is it the teenager's job to clear the roads? Because they're the ones that are dirtying it up. You do realize what a tire cap is, right? Pretty sure I do. It's the, rub it's the rubber top of a tire. It's pretty much the tread of a fucking tire. I demolished my tire on a semi-tire cap. Or I demolished my car on a semi-tire cap. I highly doubt a teenager is responsible for a fucking semi tire cap laying on the road. Have you seen how we teenage, how the teenage Texans act? Oh, she's seen them. Mud crickets and fucking you. assholes. That's... See, that's even worse. Moon crickets. No. She has to deal with one. You, do, you, do you know what a mud cricket is, Corey? Yeah, and you know what a moon what? cricket is? You know what a, t Tell me what a mud cricket is. Carol? Oh my god. I don't know anything about A mud cricket is a whore that sits around a mud hole, blowing more or less almost everybody who dips their trucks into the mud hole because she's a truck slut. That's what a fucking mud cricket is. Oh, so face? Oh my god, no. She is not a mud cricket. She's just a whore. <sighs> Some bitch they know that's named Faith. That's me and Michael's ex girlfriend. I opened it earlier because I didn't know where the other one went, and I've been pouring you sodas today. Hey! I just so like she's like, okay, like the only one driving a motorcycle, one. and we're just like driving these cars around. Because I don't drive anything other than motorcycles. How I got Freaking so good at driving that, motorcycles. You? Ice cream. That was hers. I didn't devour it, man. You know, this is how stupid the idea is inside of the girl that goes inside the girl's heads inside of my high school. There is a rich girl that has everything good going for her. Too cold. Next thing you know, she starts get she starts uh, making herself a bit cold. too slutty. You start sleeping with a whole bunch of guys. And then she starts having the I idea to make a money. gang. Yeah. While she's and bored, she wants something to do. She has everything. Inside of the most peaceful, quiet neighborhoods. Where the worst Aye. thing you can hear about is a child going missing for three days. Fuck you, Loka. Fuck you too. You ran me over in your little piece of shit mud bug. Yeah, and your attitude's a piece of shit. Where's the difference? What happened? Vaginal licorice. That's what happened. Yeah, that sounds good stuff. My god, this sauna shotgun is boss as fuck. Both. It does not matter. Considering your attitude, I thought your preference would have been the top. <laughs> well, with a woman, with a guy. Mm -mm. You know, I, I still think it'd be on top of you or if it was with a guy. Alright, come get your fucking money bags. <laughs> <laughs>